I always admired fantasy artwork as I was growing up and get different influences from different artists. And then when it went to the digital age, I wanted to do that as well. But the biggest thing that I found a problem was getting the resources and the images to use. Now, being a photographer, I can take my own, but there's certain styles of images that you cannot get the images for. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the online resources I use to obtain images to create my composites. Thanks again for tuning back into the channel. In this week's video, we are going to be looking at where I gather my free resources from for any edits I'm doing for composites or even for some tutorials. And then after that, I've got a small announcement to make and hopefully you'll stick around for that. Let's dive right into the free resources. One of the first ones we're going to look at is Adobe Stock. And you may be surprised at that because of the subscription model that they have, but they also have free images as well. And there are plenty there that you can use to create your own composites. You can take parts of an image, you can take the entire image. It's entirely up to you. And you can get them with vectors or you can go for photographs. You just decide what it is that you want to use. And these are free. You can't sell them, but these are free for you to use. And it's a good idea to go in when it says free to check what the license is exactly so that you know what you can do with it without breaking any rules. Another of the same ilk is Pexels. And that, this is another great resource. And again, you just type in what it is that you are looking for and it may not have it but some of the results that you get are absolutely brilliant and they are perfect for using to create composites with again you cannot sell these but it's really handy that there is a stock library there for you to use in any of your edits whatsoever attribution is well favored with this so if you're ever using one of these images it's only right that you attribute the photographer that allowed you to use it. If I'm not creating my own brushes, BrushEasy.com is my one-stop shop for Photoshop brushes. And finally, I can't fail to mention, although these are paid, CG Hacks and also Composite Nation for both creativity to empower it, as the advert says, but for the effects, they are absolutely outstanding. So now you have all your images and you want to learn how to do compositing and what steps you take to make the images as believable as possible if a dragon in a field is believable. But you want to know how to do that. And here's one way you can learn. I hope you like the way I led into that. It's the best sales pitch that I can do. But what Fallen Angel is, it's a step-by-step -step process of an entire image from start to finish. Now, it is over three hours long, but I go into the why I'm doing something as well as the how I'm able to do it. And hopefully from that, it allows you to pick up bits and pieces that you can apply to your own compositing techniques and allow you to look at an image and be able to understand how it was created and how you could go about that yourself. So if you're interested in this tutorial, jump over to the website and you will find it there up at the top in the search. It's Fallen Angel. Included with the tutorial is also the assets so that you can follow along. Now it's broken down into, I think it's 16 chapters because it is three hours to learn how to edit a single image. It is quite a bit of time, but it's because I go into the why. That's the main reason that the time is taken. Had I just been editing it, it wouldn't have taken that amount of time, but because I'm also explaining what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, that's the reason for the length of the video. So if it's something that you think you would quite fancy, please just head over to the website and have a look for yourself. It's on sale for the entire month of December, so perhaps you'll pick up a bargain. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.